it, though, as a result of a peaceful protest that was happening in downtown Tulsa. It started around 5 o'clock this evening. Channel 8's Gustavo Oguin was there. It's something many protesters describe with one word, unforgettable. Stained in my memory forever. Um, I was, like I said, I'm fortunate. I'm glad that I could be present and just and share the energy and really just support my people. So, like, I feel like our voices were heard to an extent, but I just want to push further. That push further includes making changes to how police are monitored after force is used. Others say they were overwhelmed by the support from people who aren't black. Now they just want that outcry to continue past today. As a black man, I can't go home tomorrow and change the color of my skin. This is still an issue I'm going to face every day. So I'm hoping that those that were out here to support us today will keep on supporting us every day to make the change. Despite shutting down roads and freeways, some protesters wish they would have gone even further with the march to make sure the message will be heard after this weekend's protests are over. We got our message across initially, but we didn't get the severity right. You know, we should have done it longer. You know, if, if I had a choice, you know, I'd stay here 99 years. You know, how long it's been since the Tulsa race riots. All right, and so that is how this all started as a result of a peaceful protest. We saw thousands of people downtown, but we have seen protests happening all over the nation as in, a, in response to the death of George Floyd, and that happened in Minneapolis on Monday when he died in police custody.